When it comes to any of the features, uh, were any of them in person? Or more so just digitally traded back and forth? Feature, yeah, Nasty C. Nasty C, man, um, I, he had a release party, I believe. He had a release party at uh, the Trap Music Museum. Went in there, you know, that was dope. And uh, I met him, and you know, I was just like, you know, I think it might have been like the next day, I was like, you know, I'm in the studio, sent him a couple songs. And this man pulled up. He was like, I want to do this one. I sent him two songs, and he picked this one. It's called Friends. But he picked that one, and he was like, yeah, man, I'm pulling up. And he just pulled up and knocked that, he knocked the verse out. What's a studio session with Nasty C like? You able to describe he was, it? He was, he was, he was kind of quiet. He was reserved, but he was a cool dude, man. It was a good vibe. And he just like really, I think he had somewhere to be. I think, I don't know if he was flying somewhere or he was, I think he was promoting something. He was promoting his project or something he dropped. He, he had somewhere to be, but he just knocked that verse out. And we sat and we talked for a minute, but he's just a cool dude, man. Very talented. Something that he wrote and uh, recorded or freestyled and punched in or? He was on the way and he was right. He wrote half of the verse on the way and finished the other half in the studio. It's like, that's why I like when we, people be asking like artists, like, how does it happen? How do people, like, it could literally happen like just, you know, on the way and you finish the, you finish one third of the song on the airplane then you finish one on the train and. But yeah, he, he, was, he just knocked it out. When he was uh, <clears throat> knocking the rest of it out, was it was he continuing to write it or was it freestyled and punched in the rest? <clears throat> I think he had half written on his phone and then he freestyled and punched in the other half. Just because it was convenient, you know. And what is that song about if somebody's watching this hasn't had a chance to listen to it yet? Friends. Wow, I didn't even think of this. You got me on the spot. Friends it is about a relationship with a relationship. A relationship with someone you're having fun with and you guys are just have an understanding that you guys are just friends. And we're just having fun and we're just yeah, just having fun and everyone's just happy. Friends. And for time reference it's September 2021 now. It is. Oh, and curious, when it came to that feature, uh, your parts were already done. Yes. I had a hook and a verse. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, he did his thing, and that was the finalization of that That song. was the finalization, man. Um, I hate it if that's not... A lot of people be having some dope stories, man, but that's a lot of times how it comes together, man. But it, And it's... But it's it's dope that it happens that way because two artists, it's like understand the task and it's like we get on the same wavelength and it's like we just focus and we just knock it out. And it seems like, might have seemed like we're going back and forth and we're right there and we're looking at each other. And, but sometimes it's just like that.